Jenna was a very beautiful, strong, young woman who was always laughing, and we will forever remember her that way. What's up, guys? Iceman here. So this story is about a shark attack that happened less than 10 years ago. And it's very concerning as this was a young woman whose life ahead of her was very promising. And she had a lot that she wanted to accomplish. And it seems like that she was just unaware of the dangers below. But before I get into it, I'd like to thank you guys for all your support on this channel. And this is my Haunting Tales channel. So if you will, subscribe to this page. Hit the bell so you're notified next time I post a video. Like the video. And let me know in the comments what your opinion is on this shark attack after the video is over. But let's get into the story. Rick Moore, who was at the time a high school teacher in California, entered the water to rescue Jana. The young, injured woman was repeatedly expressing that she would not survive. As soon as we stand on the beach, we heard this blood-curdling scream. The 57-year-old man claimed to the media, we look out and there was blood everywhere in the white water around her. With the bikini-clad woman's other arm around his neck, Moore backstroked about 100 yards through strong ocean currents. It then dawned on me that I was in grave danger, he said. The shark was around me and she's bleeding. I start praying out loud, God, God protect us. And she would say, I'm dying. I know I'm going to die. Before I reached her, I was about 10 feet away and I saw her floating on her back with no arm. It was completely severed from her body. Jana was originally from Western Germany. She was a member of Grace Berger Dance Guard, the town's carnival troupe and recently had left Germany last summer to work as an AU pair in Seattle, Washington. Jana was in Hawaii for a short vacation and was planning to return to Germany on September 11, according to her personal blog. The 20-year-old young woman had spent a year caring for her host family's three young boys. Her last day on the job was August 12, after which the young adventurous woman apparently headed to Hawaii for a vacation. After Moore got Jenna ashore, his friend Nicholas, 61, of Laguna Beach, stood in neck-high water and took the young mangled woman from Moore and carried her limp body out of the water. What was left of her shoulder was in my chest, Nicholas said. I had a pure white rash guard on, but there was very little blood on it, an indication of how much blood Jana lost. The two men said they put the woman in a bystander's kayak, using the vessel as a stretcher to bring Jana up a trail that was leading to the street. Jana's three friends were in shock as Moore performed CPR. Pretty much everybody was out of control, except for me and Rick, Nicholas said. If it weren't for us being there, she wouldn't have been saved. Nobody did a thing. They just stood there in shock, watching the blood and everything. A police officer eventually arrived on the scene with a tourniquet as Jana was going in and out of consciousness. An ambulance rushed her then to Maui Memorial Medical Center. A 23-year-old young man who was an onlooker of the incident hailed Moore's bravery. He was pretty heroic and selfless to dive in the water when, by this stage, she was surrounded by a pool of blood, which we could see from the shore, the young man said. The two men visited Jana at the hospital a few days after the attack. I just can't get the screaming out of my head, Nicholas said. The arm didn't bother me. At our age, we've seen a lot. After this incident, Nicholas changed his perspective on the ocean. I won't take risks of going too far out anymore, he said. Jana from the attack, suffered several severe injuries to her right arm and torso. She underwent emergency surgery, but she tragically passed away a week later due to her injuries. The shark that attacked Jana was believed to be a tiger shark, which is one of the largest species of sharks and is known to be responsible 
for a significant number of shark attacks on humans. The incident was a devastating tragedy, and it serves as a reminder of the risks that come with swimming in the ocean, particularly in areas known to be frequented by sharks. Jeez, what do you guys think about this situation? Apparently this happened in Maui, Hawaii, only 10 years ago. And thinking back, to be honest with you guys, a few years previous to this attack, I was hanging out in California. And I remember several times I swam out in the ocean on Laguna Beach, Huntington Beach, San Diego Beach, and others. It was, to some extent, a looming thought in the back of my mind, what really could be in these waters. But I guess I just kind of assumed I'd be okay, and there were many people swimming around me that day as well. But in this situation even, it seems that things were similar. Jana was just enjoying a nice summer day at the beach, with many people on the shore and in the water, and that's when the tragedy struck. She was, after all, 50 to 100 yards from the beach, which is a rather significant distance but not extremely far away. I can't imagine witnessing something like that in the water. And what a brave man Moore was to go in after her, that young, helpless woman after being attacked by a massive tiger shark. Do you think you'd do the same if you were to see a helpless young woman being attacked by a shark that you didn't even know? Would you risk your life and go out there into the depths in an attempt to save her? It seems almost miraculous that the tiger shark didn't attack more on his way back to shore with the bleeding woman. But maybe at that point, the shark realized it was a human and just wasn't interested in eating it or something like that. I really have no idea. But what are your thoughts on this matter? Why didn't the shark continue attacking? And what would you have done if you were in this situation? Let me know in the comments below and like this video if you guys will. Subscribe to the page for more hunting tales from the Iceman.